Today we're going to look at Rhythm Rose. This is a line of dinnerware that was made by Homer Lachlan in the 1950s. In video number 120, I talked a little bit about Priscilla, another line of dinnerware that Homer Lachlan made for Club Aluminum Products. This was also made for Club Aluminum Products, and it has a very similar program to Priscilla, where if you went to the store and you had a special card, you could get pieces of Rhythm Rose or Priscilla at a discounted rate. And if you didn't have the card, you had to pay full price. So the pattern is made up of a pink rose with all these little buds. No platinum, no gold. This is a 9-inch platter. Then we have a teapot. We'll look at the marking. The marking for Rhythm Rose is very similar to Priscilla. We have the underglaze rhythm back stamp from 1951. And then a Household Institute gold stamp. And it says Rhythm Rose. Sometimes it'll just say R Rose Pattern. But this one says Rhythm Rose. There is a matching line of kitchenware from Kitchen Craft. There's a 10-inch mixing bowl. And it should have a Kitchen Craft marking under the glaze and then the Rhythm Rose Gold stamp over the glaze. Open jug. By the time you get to the 1950s, the jugs no longer have lids. Again, Kitchen Craft. And in this case, the Rhythm Rose stamp is directly over the Kitchen Craft marking. Teapots from Kitchen Craft. These were added late to the Kitchen Craft line. There's your standard rose pattern, and then they have it in a different configuration with three smaller roses. So this printout from newspapers.com comes from 1952, and it shows the rhythm rose pattern. They don't call it rhythm rose pattern here, they just say rose pattern. And you could get a five-piece place setting for $1.39 with the card, but if you didn't have the card, it was $2.50. And this particular store was Acme Supermarkets. Now after Homer Lachlan was done with this, Universal Potteries takes over and they use their ballerina shape. The major difference between this and the Homer Lachlan version is that they use three large sprigs and they don't use the little buds on the larger pieces. And we have a piece here to look at. It's a handled chop plate or handled platter, and it has three large roses. No, no small buds, no gold, no platinum. The back of this is marked Thermocraft's Ovenproof Ballerina, that's the shape, rose pattern. So it doesn't say Household Institute, it doesn't even say Universal Potteries. So you will find these pieces by both Homer Lachlan and Universal. Again, for Club Aluminum products for grocery stores, again, we see Acme Supermarkets, and it talks about the little card. A 16-piece starter set is $3.99 with the card. Rhythm and Ballerina are similar in that they're both plain round coupe shapes, but their hollow wear is different. So that's a little bit about Rhythm Rose for Club Aluminum. But Homer Lachlan used this pattern on several other shapes. Here it is on a cable egg cup with gold trim, an eggshell egg cup with gold trim. There's a spoon rest using the small sprigs. No marking on the back. Spoon rests are pretty rare. Usually you will find these in the Harlequin colors. Nautilus Rim Soup, 1955 with the green band, and then we see a Nautilus Sugar from 1952. It's possible these were made for Woolworths. Taylor Swift and Taylor made a very similar line using the laurel shape with this decal. They also used this decal in conversation, probably others. This decal was used by many potteries of the 1950s. Um, it was also used by mom and pop firms. We're going to look at that in a minute. Cavalier eggshell teapot. So this teapot was made at Homer Lachlan with this green band, but it was decorated elsewhere, and we can pretty much tell that it's not marked. Well, yeah, it is marked 1954. But the gold, the way they did the gold on this spout, that's not typical of Homer Lachlan. They would never have done that. 
and you see how sloppy the gold is on that inside ring that's not typical of Homer Lachlan for Cavalier eggshell so chances are really good that was decorated elsewhere even though the basic pot was made at Homer Lachlan and the underglazed green band was probably done at Homer Lachlan as well same with this Virginia Rose 10 inch plate Virgin, or I'm sorry, Homer Lachlan made the blank in 1953. Probably decorated elsewhere though with this unusual gold stamp. The specialty salad nappies that use this rose pattern, these were all done at Homer Lachlan. Pennsylvania specialty nappy from 1959. And then the Virginia Rose stencil salad nappies. Green stencil from 1951 and blue stencil from 1953. There's also a red stencil. So I mentioned Taylor Swift and Taylor used this decal. Here it is again, used by Hall China. Look at the marking on this one. It says Superior Quality Kitchenware Dripolator for Enterprise Aluminum Company. So there would have been a little drip later here, a drip pot made of aluminum to go with this. And this is a printout from the Hall China decal books, and it shows the rose pattern. It shows its supplier and supplier numbers, and it has handwritten at the bottom Enterprise Coffee Pot, which is this piece right here, number 3026, telling what decals should be used, 1A and 3. 1A is the larger sprig, which is 4 inches, and 3 is the smaller sprig on the back. And then it mentions its companion pieces, the Enterprise Sugar, 3027, and the Enterprise Creamer, 3028. American Limoges also used this decal. We have an advertisement from the 1950s, though it's not dated, probably 1950s because of these prices are rather high. A service for $12, $44, service uh, for $8. Let me look at this again. Service for $12, $44.95, service for $8, $27.95. And you see the Rhythm Rose decal with all this gold stamping going on. The opposite side shows some other pieces. We've got a teapot, sugar and creamer. And then you get a bonus place setting in case something breaks in your set that you buy. You, you have some replacement pieces. Several years ago, I bought some pottery related pieces on eBay, and in the mix were these decals, which is our Rhythm Rose decal. We'll come back over here. Looks like they faded over time. I don't think that they would fire right if they were used today. And on the back of one of them, it talks. It says strip tissue prior to water immersion, ceramic corner. I don't know if that's going to show up. CC ceramic corner. That's the company that distributed these decals. I believe others had access to them as well. I happen to have a ceramic corner catalog from the 50s. If we open it up to page 10, there it is. They're calling it Pink Rose. And they've got the different sizes, like the 1A is the 4 inch. That's actually what you see here on the Hall China piece. And so on. It's got some pricing. So anybody could buy these decals. It's not just large pottery firms. Small mom and pop firms could buy them as well, put them on trinket boxes or novelty wear, ashtrays, whatever the case may be. And since I have this book out, I thought we could go through and look at some of these other decals. For example, this one, which they call Pink Rose. This was used by Hall China. Um, I think it was used on pieces for Cook Coffee Company. Unfortunately, they're all in black and white, so it's, it's hard to see some of these. Lots of different flower decals and rose decals. Over here we see dogwood. This was used by Homer Lachlan on the debutante shape. I'm sure it was used by other potteries as well. Here we see it says orange puffballs. But I think it's called acacia. And it was used by Taylor Swift and Taylor. I think Hall China used this one as well. 
Over here we see several common ones. This one that says Starflower, Taylor Smith & Taylor used this one. And we have White Blossom. Hall China used that one. I know they did. I think Homer might have used that as well. Lily of the Valley. That Homer Lachlan used that one. Let's see. Well, this one's interesting. Floral spray. So we've got a large sprig and we've got these smaller sprigs. That's Priscilla. That was originally used by James Rivers in the late 1930s, but then Homer Lachlan took over. And here it is, uh, commercially available. Jamaica, that's a Taylor Smith & Taylor decal. I believe that was uh, developed for the conversation shape. Some fruit decals. Courier and Ives, these are multicolored decals. Homer Lachlan used these. I'm sure many other potteries did as well. Fireside scene. Now this is interesting because it's like a mirror image, so some of these are flipped. But this is a Colonial Kitchen that was originally used on Swing Eggshell. Some car decals. Salem China used these. Homer Lachlan used them. Pearl China used them and decorated Homer Lachlan wares like ashtrays and the Harlequin light green tumbler. Let's see. Silhouette Courtship. That was used on jade and marigolds. So that originates in the uh, like 1933, 1932. And here we see it still being used in the 1950s. Chinese vase. This was called Green Goddess and used by Homer Lachlan on Swing Eggshell. But here we see them later on being available to anyone. Old Mexico. That's Hacienda that was used on Century. And uh, let's see. Nautilus Ivory as well. And here this is called Navajo Indian Scenes, which Homer Lachlan collectors would recognize as Pueblo. And so we've got one, two, three, four different sprigs. Ranch scenes. This is the cowboy decal that was used on Rhythm. And I think it's interesting because I've shown some of these pieces before. Pull them out again. These are Cavalier eggshell plates by Homer Lachlan. We flip them over and we see the Cavalier eggshell marking. 1954, and then it says... Centennial Novelty Company. They're the decorators. So they very well could have gotten these decals from this book. So it sort of solves a mystery. Why are, are we seeing Homer Lachlan decals on Homer Lachlan plates with a decorator's name? So Homer Lachlan would have made the Cavalier eggshell plate. They would have put the green band, which would have been under the glaze. And then the, this company, which is again Centennial Novelty Company, would have purchased these decals and done the gold stamp and the gold trim and finished it out. So there's the ranch scene and the cowboy. They very well could have gotten them out of this catalog or maybe even another supplier. Some turkey decals, we see these quite a bit on different potteries, whereas I think TST might have used that one as well. Some dogs and birds. Lobster. This is an interesting one. It says that the large sprig is 5.5 by 10 inches, and it's in bright red. There are some platters that turn up every once in a while by Eastern China, and they make use of Eva, Ziza, Eva Zizel's, pardon me, um, the Tomorrow Classic platters. And these pop up on them every once in a while by Eastern China, out of New York. Uh, so they're making use of that lobster decal. So if you ever see those, that's where they come from. And I got one more mark to look at. Of course, there's the Jesus decal and the Mary Lord's Supper. It's called Lord's Supper, or Last Supper. And there's Mary again. We see that on a lot of different uh, potteries wares. I think that's going to be it. Just some uh, random things. The bride and groom decal, I see that quite a bit on pieces all the way into the 1980s. Um, so it's, it's just interesting to go through these types of catalogs and see these decals because we get familiar with them on certain potteries, then we see these oddball pieces pop up and wonder how that came to be. It, usually it's because they were commercially available. So I think that's going to be it for now on Rhythm Rose by Homer Lachlan.